Jake is the first character we see when the movie recap starts. He traveled through space in a pod, which was a space pod that traveled from place to place. After a long time he finally comes to his senses, and was imprisoned in this module for six years. His legs became paralyzed. At first we couldn't understand it. What is Jake doing in space and what did he come here for? But then we see some past scenes. The whole story is clear to us. Jake had a twin, he was a good scientist. He wanted to get into space and liked to discover new things. But he got into a fight with some people and was killed for money. NASA spent a lot of money to send it into space. Jake doesn't want to spend this money and wants to fulfill his brother's dream. Instead, he goes into space to see another planet. He was ready to go there because he was paralyzed. Treatment for his legs was expensive. He has hoped that if he succeeds in his mission, can make a lot of money, then he uses them for his treatment. No doubt he has no legs, but he was very hardworking. But he was so strong and confident that he will do it. Speaking of that planet, there is no oxygen on that planet. The people who will go with him have gathered in one place. There they meet their leader and their leaders to understand them. So you have to face the situation there. And if you encounter a creature there, how can you defeat it? It means how to escape from it. Then Jake meets a man there and they train together for three years and become good friends. The man shows his avatar to Jake. There was the DNA of humans and other creatures of the planet, the planet they were going to. He starts his project. The head of that project comes there, and they go to the project manager. He was a businessman. He started this project. She tells him what was your purpose in bringing Jake here. The head tells her that there is no problem with him. He is wise and do you know why we go to this planet? He shows her a precious stone. He says we will take these stones from that planet. The price of this one kilogram stone is 100 million. That means 10 grams of it is worth one crore. You should keep quiet and let it stand quietly. In the next scene, we see Jake being sent into the machine. And he comes out after he becomes the avatar. He was moved into the avatar's body. He was happy after getting it. High ears, high tail and long braid. Blue color, it means he was happy with the blue color. Then Jake meets someone and he respects Jake. Because Jake was in the military before. His activity was good. He tells Jack that you can become more successful and spend more time with the people of that planet. Because the more times you spend with them, the more they will trust you. You know the boss of this project wants it too. Get more rocks out of that planet. They should be removed from there first. And if you do this task, it will be good. If you don't make it within three months, then we have to inadvertently attack there. The war will begin because we have to get the stones at any cost. And in return I will treat your feet. Jake agrees. Now they reach that planet and go there. Jake, who is now the avatar, was happy. He starts touching things, and then he sees that there are huge animals. Jake is chased by a strange animal. Jake jumps into the stream, now separated from his team. There, Jake makes him a pizza. On the other side, his team is looking for him, but they could not find him. While they think it is a dangerous planet, they move from there. Maybe Jake is killed. Jake was there in the woods. Then we notice a woman staring at him. Her name is Natiri and she was a creature on that planet. She was about to shoot an arrow at Jake, but then a flower sits on top of her. He changes his mind and leaves from there. At night, Jake begins to be chased by dangerous animals on the planet. They were about to attack him, but Jake fights them off. He burns fire to escape from them. Then Natiri comes and saves him. Meanwhile, some animals were also killed. Natiri arrives in anger and tells Jake while saving you, my animals are killed. Jake tells her why are you aggressive? If you cared about animals you shouldn't have saved me. Natiri says you are just a child. Jake says you'll teach me how to fight then. With that, the glowing flowers sit on Jake's body. Natiri was the daughter of the leader of this tribe. He takes Jake into his tribe. People from her tribe want to kill Jake. Natiri stops them, but the creature doesn't like it. It was the same creature, who will become the leader of the tribe in the future. But Natiri's mother who was queen there, allows Natiri to teach Jake skills. On the flip side, we see Jake waking up in the real world. That means in that ship, he tells everyone that I have taken the first step to gain their trust. When they hear this, everyone is happy. Now Natiri begins to teach Jake many things, like horse riding etc. On the other side we see the head of this project. He will come to that place with his team. There was their little cabin in the mountains, and they can fly in the clouds. It is a charming sight. On the other hand, Jake's training took off and he made excellent progress throughout. He learned all about the place, horseback riding, how to hunt, and the biggest thing is how to love nature. Natiri takes Jake to a place. She makes him meet the bird there and she says it can fly. 
do you know its quality? He chooses his own rider, and he stays honest with his rider. She flies with her rider and has not flown with anyone instead of her rider. The risky thing is that you also have to be careful before choosing it. It can also kill you. Now the same thing happens, but soon Jake will choose the bird. When he controls it, he starts to fly. Neytiri and Jake flew on their birds. They enjoyed themselves. He sees a tree and it was a beautiful place. Meanwhile, a terrible bird begins to chase them. But they fight and beat it. They save their lives. Neytiri tells Jake that it was my ancestor's ride. It is hard to ride. They say it can make sadness disappear and can bring prosperity. Jake's three months were now up and the colonel called him. He says I think you are forgetting what task I gave you. Jake says no, I don't forget. Tomorrow is their event to accept me. That means I will become part of them. The colonel says if you can't do it, I'll send you back to earth. Jake says don't worry about tomorrow. I'll take them out of that place. The colonel says we'll see and another day will come. The event happens, where all the creatures of that planet accept Jake. Then they showed Jake L's tree, which was their pure tree. Always on. Here is Neytiri telling Jake. You can choose any lady in this tribe if you want. Jake tells her I love you. Neytiri is also smiling here. We then see the colonel about to drop the current tree, because he was about to begin his mission. Seeing this, all the people of the tribe are aggressive. Jake tries to stop them, but people didn't stop. Seeing all this, creature, who will be the leader of the tribe in future attacks, Jack. Neytiri saves him. Now the project manager tells the colonel that it is not necessary. Get rocks after breaking their ground or knocking down trees. Maybe these stones are all around. Meanwhile, Jake also arrives and gives the colonel an understanding. He also says to the boss of this project, why do you want this stone? They like nature. He will never leave this place, but the colonel says it doesn't matter. If they don't move, I already told you we will fight. It happens the next morning. Jake and the leader try to make him understand, but he didn't listen. He just gives them a chance that you can switch to your avatar once again and he can deal with them. You have one last chance. The leader of this project and Jake go to their avatar. They go back to the planet and Jake tells them everything. That I was sent here to replace you from here. Because we need some important things from here. Hearing all this, Neytiri began to cry and scream. That you're lying to me. You are doing drama. The creatures of the planet have imprisoned Jake and the project leader. Meanwhile, the colonel arrives there with his companions. Jake forbids him, but he gets there anyway. Now the people of this tribe will start attacking them. But how much can they attack with their bow and arrows? The colonel starts dropping bombs on them. Because of her, the fire spreads everywhere. The people of the tribe get scared and start crying. Then a female creature approaches Jake. And he says in releasing him who saves us. Meanwhile, the colonel dropped their clean tree. Seeing this, everyone was sad and aggressive towards people. In the process, Neytiri's father also dies. Project leader in call. Arrest Jake and the leader of this project. But then the pilot who flew the fighters comes there. After she saved them, they were now all aboard another spaceship. There because of the dismissal of the colonel, the project manager was injured. Jake comes to his avatar again. But Jake sees that people are going to another place. They stop where their clean tree was thrown. Jake seems to have escaped. Help will never come to them. But this time Jack comes riding that bird, on which Neytiri's ancestor rides. He believes that whoever will ride the bird can remove the clouds of sorrow. It means that it can bring prosperity. When Jake flies to them on this bird, everyone becomes happy. She thinks Jake didn't run. He came to help us. Neytiri is also happy. Jake told Neytiri's mother that one of my companions was wounded. Is there any way to save her? She tells him that yes, if he returns to his avatar, there will be a chance. But in the end they failed to save the project leader. And she dies. Jake announces in the tribe that we will be fighting the colonel. Everyone supports him. They are ready to help him. They were a large number of them. Even the colonel was afraid because of her. But the problem is that it has many advanced fighter planes. Jake and the rest of the tribe have only bows and arrows. Jake ignores it, because he knows this planet very well. He decides that he will definitely fight, for nature and the planet at any cost. He approaches the clean tree. He tells it to help them. The colonel is coming here to destroy nature, don't let that happen. Now the colonel will attack. He brought with him a large army. He shoots the clear tree first. But before that, the creatures of the planet will come there. And they also prepared their government. Jake was also coming in that bluebird. They all have bows and arrows. But the colonel and his companions were hard on them. Because of their advanced weapons and skills. On the other hand, the creatures of this planet have great power. They put their will first. It was a powerful thing. Then the colonel began attacking the creature. Then the fighter pilot comes there. But before she can save Jake, the colonel also starts shooting at her. The bird Neytiri also gets hurt because of this. Destruction has occurred. 
The new leader of the tribe was also killed because of that shooting. A leader who makes fun of Jake. Now the colonel's next target is that clear tree because he wants to control them while attacking her. Neytiri was also nervous. But even here, before anyone attacks that tree, Jake's prayer has been answered, which he did in front of that tree. Some huge birds came flying from the other side. The bullets didn't hit them. They attacked not only the colonel but everyone else who held weapons. They throw weapons, the plane they were going to detonate from. Jake attacked it and fell. It ruins the plan, and they were saved from the explosion. Now Jake attacks the colonel's plane, because of this, he destroys his plane. The colonel jumps from his plane. Jake was rescued when he got stuck in the trees. And then the colonel sees the cabin where Jake was. It means the human version of Jake who was weak. He thinks he will kill Jake when he attacks him. And after Jake's death, his avatar character will be removed as well. Neytiri will arrive there before then. He fights the colonel. But here she was getting weaker and weaker. Then Jake comes there and Jake stops the colonel from killing the human version of him. But the colonel holds his braid and lifts him into the air. Blackmailed him. Then I will kill you. But before the colonel touches Jake, Neytiri fires an arrow that hits the colonel directly. This time the colonel was killed. Jake also passes out. Because he was also injured. And returns to his human version of the cabin again. He couldn't breathe because he lacked oxygen. Then Neytiri comes here and puts an oxygen mask on his face. They both smile as Neytiri saves Jake's life. Jake saved their planet. In the last scene of the movie, we see that all the people were sent back to Earth. Only Jake was left, and some select people with him. They will live with these creatures. Jake was forever changed into the Avatar character. Now he was happy with Neytiri on that planet. That's the end of this movie recaps. Thanks for watching.